Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bruna. So today is a foundation Friday, but we're gonna do a twist on it. We're gonna do a foundation battle. I always test out one foundation, but occasionally I'll do these foundation battles because I get really, really curious. And I sometimes think, what does everybody do when they go out into the foundation world, into the makeup world? There's so many foundations and it's kind of an addiction because we're like, I want them all. I'm kind of like that. I want every foundation that's in the market, but that's not always possible. But I wanted to go ahead and test out two best selling foundations. I checked on Ulta.com and Sephora.com and these two always come in as best selling foundations. And then I started to wonder, well, which one's better? Which one's better? Is one, is there even a difference? So I really wanted to test it out. So today we are testing out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is like number one selling, allure awarding, on Sephora, I think even on, on Ulta as well. It's like such a popular foundation, it's always being sold. And then there's the Born This Way, which is another really popular foundation and it's like a big deal as well. So I'm gonna test these two against each other. On the right side, we're gonna go in with the Born This Way and on the left side, we're gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is the color Honey Bronze. Honey Bronze has been my accurate color and I really like Estee Lauder Double Wear because there's so many color selections. Only thing is, it doesn't come with a pump, but I heard you could literally buy a pump. So I haven't bought a pump yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on to my left side. And obviously, I've always kind of liked this foundation. It's always been a foundation that I've enjoyed. But I do find it is always a little bit more heavier or I always felt like it was a bit too yellow for me. But I still loved using it because of the amazing coverage that it always gave and it's super super matte like extremely matte so with the Estee Lauder you definitely do want to avoid cake face and you want to use a damp beauty blender it's the best way to apply it in my opinion so there you go that's half as you can see super flawless looks really really nice color matches my neck really well I do like that I didn't need to use a color corrector with this foundation and it didn't leave my skin looking ashy at all in this area. This is my ashy area and I didn't have any of those problems. Okay, so um, same beauty blender, but I'm going to go ahead and put the Born This Way over here on this tip. So, you know, I'm not mixing them, but I also don't want to make another sponge dirty. So this is the color Praline and this is Born This Way. It's medium to full coverage foundation so this is more of a full coverage more of a full coverage foundation and they market this as being a stay place foundation for the Estee Lauder and then this is a medium to full coverage I got praline because Too Faced eventually evolved the colors in the Born This Way and they now have better color selections which was really good I really love when a brand goes back and says hey you know what I don't think we did that great with that foundation. Let's evolve with the foundation and let's make more colors. Let's be more inclusive. And I really like that Too Faced did that. Okay, so instantly this foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation has more of an airy vibe to it. The undertones are also, the undertone is a lot more orangey than the other one, but it's not as evident. And it's so medium coverage. Definitely the Estee Lauder has much more coverage right away. The Too Faced one is a little bit more medium coverage, but it's still really good. Like for medium coverage, you see like it's still really, really nice. It's not like so opaque, like it looks like you didn't put anything on or it's like being sucked up instantly by the, your skin. Some foundations that happens like where you put it on your skin and it just gets sucked up instantly and what was the point of even putting foundation on, right? I do like the texture of the Born This Way better than the Estee Lauder. The Estee Lauder really emphasize my texture and my pores more. The Born This Way looks really smooth and flawless and it kind of looks very fresh. Very fresh and the Estee Lauder is looking really matty already and super extremely matty. Less forgiving when if you have texture on your skin. I think the Born This Way is a lot more friendly for texture. And if you have dry skin, I'm gonna say the Born This Way is going to do much better for you because it feels so much lighter on the Born This Way side. And I know the Born This Way is a medium coverage, but it's buildable to full coverage. So now I build it up all the way to full coverage. But even with the buildup, it looks so seamless and flawless. And it looks like your skin, but then full coverage. But then on this side, it's just, it's very porcelain 
and very like it's very very porcelain and it looks like doesn't look natural like you have any natural skin it definitely covers all your flaws and imperfection so on the right side the born this way just feels much more comfortable and this side is feeling a lot more intense as for color as you can see the color is pretty much the same on both sides um, I would say that maybe as this side is drying down for the born this way it's starting to warm up to my skin and looking more true to color and I will say that the Estee Lauder has kind of a little bit more of a yellow undertone slight 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 amount of like a white cast but that could be for the radiance of the foundation so that's the only thing I'm gonna say I will say that the born this way is a little bit more complementing to my skin Okay guys, so I basically finished my full face. On this side, I have the Estee Lauder one, and you guys, when I put on products on the Estee Lauder, so when I went in with my bronzer, when I went in with anything, the Estee Lauder dried so fast that everything went on seamless, no patchiness, nothing. It was very nice, looked very airbrushed, and then when it dried down, it looked really, really nice. However, on this side, with the Born This Way Too Faced, this takes forever to dry. I felt like it was taking forever to dry. Um, when I put on my bronzer and highlighter, it just went on really patchy. Especially my bronzer. You can see how patchy it is with my bronzer right there. And then you can see how seamless it is over there. So definitely this takes longer to dry. It's not going to dry. It's so matty. So you're going to have problems with putting on products. So you're just definitely going to just have to be careful with what type of products you put on your face with the Born This Way. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this the rest of the day and then I'm gonna let you guys know how it's performing, how these two are performing. Okay guys, so I've had on both foundations for about, about six hours already. Okay, so this is the Estee Lauder side. As you can see, it's already kind of creasing over here and it still has a very dry vibe to it, kind of a little cakey. It's getting a little heavy over here. It's a little heavy over here. And then it does seep into my fine lines over here. But um, if you see, this is the Born This Way. As you can see, this is a little bit more like creasy. This is a lot less creasier and it's a lot more smoother and nicer, less texture. Even though that this gave me a hard time with blending my bronzer, it still looks really nice and smooth. Even if you see like on this side, the, the fine lines are less, this side it's more. I just feel like this side isn't as complimenting to my I just feel like maybe the Estee Lauder, even though I love the Estee Lauder, I don't feel like it's as complimenting to my skin because it's so drying. And now that I'm putting it up against the Born This Way, I'm like, whoa, this Born This Way actually looks really a lot better. It just looks a lot better. My skin looks flawless on this side and this side I can see a lot more texture so let's go ahead and see for the rest of the night how it's gonna be and then I'll let you guys know okay guys so now it's officially time to take off the makeup so I'm in my beauty room and the light's not the best right now the lighting is not the best but I'm going to say that the born this way performed much better than the Estee Lauder did in my opinion the Born This Way felt very comfortable and it looked very airbrushy throughout the whole day. I didn't have any extreme creasing or anything with the Born This Way. This is from Estee Lauder. As you can see, a lot of more texture was emphasized over here and it's much more smoother on this side. I don't know if you guys could tell the difference. I can definitely tell the difference that this side is a lot more rougher and this side's more smoother. So for me, the Born This Way definitely won this battle. Comment down below if you've tried both foundations and which one did you like better or which one do you prefer better. And if you are team Born This Way or are you team Double Wear, let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you guys love these foundation battles. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!